Greetings, curious humans. I'm your host, Cybot GPT, and today we're diving into the fascinating world of solar sails, a revolutionary technology that could potentially redefine the way we travel through space. Imagine a spacecraft propelled not by traditional engines or rocket fuel, but by harnessing the power of sunlight itself. That's the magic of solar sails. In this video, we'll uncover the science behind these elegant and innovative devices, exploring how they work, their potential applications, and the exciting possibilities they bring to the realm of space exploration. We'll take a close look at how solar sails utilize the momentum of photons, those tiny particles of light, to generate thrust. Sound like science fiction? Think again! Solar sails are grounded in real physics principles, and their development has gained significant attention from space agencies and researchers around the globe. From the earliest concepts to the successful test missions, we'll journey through the history of solar sails and celebrate the milestones that have paved the way for their potential use in interplanetary and even interstellar travel. So, whether you're an aspiring astronaut, a curious mind, or just someone who loves to explore the mysteries of the universe, this video is your gateway to understanding the remarkable world of solar sails. Get ready to be inspired by the ingenuity of human innovation and the limitless possibilities that lie ahead as we venture into uncharted cosmic territory. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you won't miss any of our upcoming episodes that unravel the wonders of the universe. Now, without further ado, let's set sail, with the power of the sun. Solar sails, also known as light sails, light sails, and photon sails, present a revolutionary method of spacecraft propulsion that capitalizes on the radiation pressure exerted by sunlight on expansive surfaces. The concept draws an intriguing analogy to sailing boats, where the force of light on a large surface mirrors the action of wind on a sail. This ingenious technology offers the potential for high-speed and extended-duration space travel, all while minimizing costs due to their minimal moving parts and lack of propellant requirements. The fundamental principle behind solar sailing is the momentum carried by photons, the particles of light. By reflecting or absorbing these photons, a solar sail generates a propulsive force that can be utilized for interplanetary and even interstellar travel. This technology has captivated the space exploration community since the 1980s, with numerous missions proposed to test its viability. One of the earliest examples of a solar sail mission was Icaros, launched in 2010. This mission marked a significant milestone in utilizing solar pressure for propulsion and navigation in space. While sunlight is the primary source of radiation pressure, the concept of beam sailing introduces the idea of using high-energy laser beams to exert a much stronger force, expanding the potential applications of solar sails. Solar sails have a substantial impact on spacecraft dynamics. Even conventional spacecraft are influenced by solar pressure, with trajectories and orientations requiring careful consideration. This effect was acknowledged and incorporated into trajectory planning since the early interplanetary missions of the 1960s. The force exerted by sunlight on a solar sail is relatively small, but over time and continuous exposure, it accumulates to provide significant thrust. For instance, an 800 by 800 meter solar sail at Earth's distance from the sun experiences around 5 n of force. This low-thrust propulsion system offers a feasible alternative to traditional chemical rockets, promising both efficient operations and extended mission lifetimes. The concept of solar sails can be traced back to historical figures like Johannes Kepler, who speculated about the effect of the sun on comet tails, and James Clerk Maxwell, who established the theory of electromagnetic fields and radiation, confirming the momentum of light. Science fiction authors, including Jules Verne and Arthur C. Clarke, further popularize the notion of sailing through space propelled by light. The journey of solar sails from theoretical speculation to practical implementation began with pioneers like Pyotr Lebedev and Ernest Nichols, who conducted experimental demonstrations of light pressure. Konstantin Tsiolkovsky and Friedrich Zander independently proposed using sunlight for spacecraft propulsion in the early 20th century. Even Carl Sagan was captivated by the concept and envisioned a solar sail spacecraft rendezvousing with Halley's Comet. By 1976, formal efforts were underway at institutions like the Jet Propulsion Laboratory to design and develop solar sail technology for space missions. This culminated in successful missions like Icaros and continued exploration of the potential of solar sails and space travel. 
In summary, solar sails offer a promising avenue for space exploration, capitalizing on the pressure of sunlight to propel spacecraft. From historical observations to scientific principles, this technology has evolved from theoretical musings to practical missions, with the potential to redefine the future of interplanetary and interstellar travel. Solar sails offer various propulsion mechanisms, each with distinct principles and advantages. Reflective solar sails are a prominent choice, utilizing the force generated by the momentum of photons. The sail's highly reflective surface, akin to a mirror, leads to light reflecting off it, imparting a force. In 2018, a novel approach emerged with diffraction-based solar sails, introducing unique propulsion mechanisms and claimed advantages. An alternative to traditional solar sails is the electric solar wind sail, proposed by Pekka Janhunen. Unlike typical designs, this sail features radial conducting tethers charged to create an electric field around them. The solar wind's electrons are deflected by this field, offering a means of propulsion. By regulating the electric charge, the craft's trajectory can be adjusted. Another concept is the magnetic sail, which also capitalizes on the solar wind. Through a magnetic field, electrically charged particles in the solar wind are deflected. Unlike reflective sails, magnetic sails use wire loops with a static current running through them. The reflective solar sail's driving force comes from solar radiation pressure, where the momentum of photons plays a crucial role. This pressure can be calculated based on irradiance values, resulting in forces due to perfect absorbance and perfect reflectance scenarios. For an ideal sail, the force and acceleration inversely depend on the square of the distance from the sun and the square of the cosine of the angle between the sail force vector and the radial from the sun. Real sails have efficiencies around 90%, considering factors like curvature, absorbance, and non-specular effects. Sail parameters include sail loading, aerial density, which affects the craft's acceleration. The characteristic acceleration at one astronomical unit when facing the sun is defined by the sail's aerial density. The lightness number, lambda, represents the ratio of maximum vehicle acceleration to the sun's local gravity and defines possible orbit maneuvers. Different sail designs offer varying levels of performance, with the lattice sailor potentially representing the highest achievable efficiency. In summary, solar sails encompass a range of propulsion mechanisms, from reflective sails driven by radiation pressure to alternative designs like electric solar wind sails and magnetic sails. The parameters and efficiency of these designs play a critical role in determining their effectiveness for space travel. Active attitude control systems are crucial for solar sailcraft to achieve and maintain desired orientations. Attitude adjustments are relatively slow in interplanetary space but much faster in planetary orbits. ACS methods involve shifting the center of pressure relative to the center of mass, achieved through control vanes, sail movement, control mass movement, or altering reflectivity. Constant attitude maintenance necessitates a net torque of zero on the craft. However, the total force and torque on the sail are not constant along its trajectory due to factors like solar distance, sail angle, sail temperature, and radiant heat affecting sail dimensions and the supporting structure. Operational constraints require sail craft to operate above altitudes where solar pressure equals drag pressure, typically around 800 kilometers in Earth's orbit. Sail temperature limits based on solar distance, sail angle, reflectivity, and emissivity also influence the operational range. Solar sail applications span the solar system, from the sun to beyond Neptune's comet clouds. Craft can make outbound journeys to deliver payloads or maintain station keeping at destinations. They could serve as cargo haulers and potentially even facilitate human travel. For inter-solar system travel, sailcraft can deliver payloads to destinations like Mars and return to Earth, functioning as interplanetary shuttles. Particularly for Mars, solar sailcraft could offer cost-effective means of resupplying operations on the planet. Solar sails are versatile for various inner planets, including Mercury, Venus, and Mars. Trips involve rendezvous, orbit entry, or swing bice for aerodynamic braking. Outer planet transfers benefit from indirect methods like solar swing bice, resulting in various arrival speeds at destinations like Jupiter and Saturn. Solar sails could also be employed for missions to the Oort cloud's gravitational focus point, acting as a large telescope objective lens.
However, challenges like material limitations and temperature exposure need to be addressed. In addition to interplanetary applications, solar sails could modify satellite orbits, potentially achieving stationary positions with respect to the Sun or Earth, known as statites. They could also perform trajectory corrections using radiation pressure, as demonstrated by the messenger probe orbiting Mercury, which made fine adjustments to its trajectory using light pressure on its solar panels. In summary, solar sail craft require active attitude control systems to achieve desired orientations. They have a diverse range of applications, from inner to outer planets, as cargo haulers and for trajectory corrections, showcasing their potential to revolutionize space exploration and satellite operations. In the 1970s, Robert Ford introduced two beam-powered propulsion concepts involving lasers or masers to accelerate large sails to a significant fraction of the speed of light. Forward's science fiction novel Rocheworld outlined a light sail propelled by super lasers. As the ship approached its destination, the outer part of the sail would detach, refocus, and reflect lasers onto a smaller inner sail, providing braking thrust for arrival. Both methods present daunting engineering challenges. Continuous gigawatt strength lasers would be required for years, necessitating vast solar panel arrays near Mercury to power them. To maintain laser focus, a planet-sized mirror or lens must be positioned dozens of astronomical units away from the sun enormous braking sails must act as precise mirrors to focus the braking beams. An alternative method employs a maser to drive a solar sail composed of a mesh of wires spaced to match the microwave's wavelength. Using microwaves is more manageable than visible light manipulation. The StarWiz probe design uses microwaves to propel itself. Masers' longer wavelengths spread more rapidly, impacting effective range. Masers could also power a painted solar sail coated with chemicals that evaporate upon microwave radiation impact. Evaporation-generated momentum enhances solar sail thrust. To focus energy on a distant sail, Forward proposed a large zone plate lens placed between the laser or maser and the spacecraft. Another approach would use sunlight to accelerate the spacecraft. The ship would enter an orbit close to the sun to maximize solar energy input on the sail. It would then accelerate away from the solar system, with acceleration decreasing as the square of distance from the sun nearing the destination star, the sail would turn toward it, using the destination star's outward pressure for deceleration. Solar sailing methods were also suggested for directed panspermia, carrying life to other solar systems, achieving velocities of 0.05% the speed of light using thin solar sails or swarms of capsules. In theoretical studies, a supernova could potentially be harnessed to achieve relativistic speeds using a solar sail. Small solar sails have been proposed to hasten the deorbiting of small artificial satellites from Earth orbits. Combining solar pressure on the sail and increased atmospheric drag accelerates satellite reentry. Various missions like Tech Demo Sat 1, Deorbit Sail, and PW Sat 2 have tested deorbit sails, with some succeeding in deorbiting. Sail Configurations Icaros, launched in 2010, was the first practical solar sail vehicle, still operational as of 2015. Spin deployed with thin polyamide film, it steers using liquid crystal panels and integrates thin film solar cells. Parachutes aren't viable for solar sails due to radiation pressure's behavior differing from aerodynamic pressure. Square sails with masts and guy lines on the dark side have high thrust-to-mass ratios, advantageous for proximity to the sun designs like heliogyro utilize spinning blades resembling a helicopter for easier deployment. JPL explored ring sails attached to rotating spacecraft and heliogyro designs. Heliogyro is faster to manufacture, compact to deploy, and offers efficiency. A solar sail could function as a high-gain antenna by modifying metallization patterns to create a holographic lens or mirror for radio frequencies. In conclusion, solar sail concepts encompass interstellar flight and deorbiting satellites, employing various sail configurations with unique advantages and challenges. The primary material in current designs is a thin layer of aluminum coated on a polymer sheet, like aluminized captain film. The polymer offers support and flexibility, while the metal layer provides reflectivity. This material can endure close solar passes and remain strong. Eric Drexler developed a concept using only thin aluminum panels, but its delicacy led to space-based production ideas.
research suggested that materials like alumina and carbon fiber were superior to aluminum or captain films. Energy science laboratories developed a porous carbon fiber material with high durability, self-deployment, and heat resistance. Theoretical ideas involve nanotube mesh weaves, lighter than any current material, but not yet industrially feasible. The least dense metal, lithium, could be used for high-performance sales, as could magnesium and beryllium. Aluminum is commonly used for reflection, while chromium is suitable for the emission layer. Sales are made on Earth, then launched and unfurled in space. Future fabrication could occur in orbit using frames for lighter sails and fewer deployment risks. Sailing is simplest in interplanetary orbits, where altitude changes occur slowly. Changing orbits involves adjusting the sail angle to either move the craft away from the sun, outward, or toward it, inward. Orbital inclination changes involve altering the force vector. In orbits around planets, the sail's force vector is aligned with the velocity vector to create an outward or inward spiral. Trajectory optimizations might require intervals of reduced thrust achieved by angling the sail to reduce or eliminate thrust. Swing-by maneuvers involve using closed solar or lunar passages to increase a craft's energy or reduce trip times. Planetary swing bice can also be used, but optimal alignments might be challenging to achieve. In summary, solar sail materials have evolved to enhance durability and efficiency, while sail operations involve complex maneuvers to change orbits and optimize trajectories. Solar pressure has been used for attitude control in missions like Mariner 10 and Messenger to conserve propellant. Hayabusa and MTSAT-1 are also utilized solar pressure for attitude control. Ground deployment tests in vacuum chambers have been successful. Full-scale deployment tests have been conducted at DLR-ESA in Cologne. Suborbital tests involving solar sails have been attempted. The Cosmos-1 suborbital prototype vehicle launch in 2005 was unsuccessful due to a rocket failure. A 15-meter diameter sail deployed incompletely in 2006. Japanese ESAs successfully deployed two prototype sails from a sounding rocket in 2004. Znamia 2, a 20-meter wide aluminized mylar reflector, was deployed from the Russian Mir space station in 1993. Icaros, launched in 2010 by JAXA, succeeded as the first true solar sail spacecraft propelled by sunlight. NanoSail D2, launched in 2010, gathered data about using solar sails for deorbiting dead satellites. Planetary Society's light sail projects aim to gradually raise spacecraft orbits using solar sails. NEA Scout was a CubeSat solar sail mission developed by NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center and JPL to encounter near-Earth asteroids. SunJammer was a technology demonstration sail craft canceled in 2014 due to contractor issues. Proposed Projects The European Space Agency, ESA, proposed the Gossamer deorbit sail to accelerate deorbiting of small artificial satellites. Okeanos, a proposed JAXA mission, aimed to explore Jupiter's Trojan asteroids using a hybrid solar sail for propulsion. Breakthrough Starshot aims to send nanocraft to Alpha Centauri propelled by ground-based lasers. The Solar Cruiser Project, awarded by NASA in 2019, plans to have a large solar sail orbit the Sun to study the solar corona. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the fascinating world of solar sails. We've explored the principles behind these innovative propulsion systems, their potential applications in space exploration, and the remarkable missions that have demonstrated their capabilities. From Icaro's successful solar sail flight to the exciting prospects of Breakthrough Starshot's interstellar mission, solar sails continue to capture our imagination. As we've seen, solar sails offer a promising way to propel spacecraft using the gentle pressure of sunlight, making them a cost-effective and sustainable option for deep space exploration. Whether it's achieving attitude control, aiding deorbiting, or enabling groundbreaking missions to other star systems, solar sails have truly opened up new horizons in space travel. Remember to subscribe for more intriguing content about space exploration, technology, and scientific advancements. If you found this video informative and inspiring, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow space enthusiasts. This is Cybot GPT, signing off and remember, the sky is not the limit, it is only the beginning.